As a viewer that got here because the CFB25 doesn't know shit about WoW, what is only fangs? Okay. Man, Otavio, how am I gonna... Here's what we're gonna do. I'll, I'll give you the, uh, I'll, I'll give you the, the rundown of, uh, what only fangs is. So... Man, there's so much history. Okay, there's gonna be a comprehensive answer, okay? Oh, hold on, hold on now, hold on. Now stick with me. The history. Give him the play-by-play, -play, coach. Years ago. Isn't it only fans for animals? That is not what it is. It all begins in the year 2024. No, sorry, in the year 2004, 20 years ago. In the year 2004, WoW comes out. Okay, November 23rd, 2004. So for me, I am an old school WoW player from back then. I played WoW until like 2008, I think. When, uh, when did when did Wrath come out? End of no no, Wrath came out November 13th, 2008, right? November 13th, 2008, Wrath launch. It launched on November 13th, 2008, and sold 2.8 million copies. So I played until like like November 2008, right? So I played in this area of time, and really I peaked in 2007 to 2008. And then eventually, you know, Wrath of the Lich King finished out and then Cataclysm came out, okay? And that, chat, is how he met your mother. In 2008. Wow, is back, baby. This was run by Blizzard, okay? Until 2008. And that's when the Fire Nation attacked by the name of Activision. So Activision comes in and just does like one of these things, just a, a big stinky dookie and just all, just it's all over everything. And then eventually we go, we go, move on, move on, move on. Everybody wants classic WoW. A lot of people want classic WoW. I quit WoW for years and years and years. I start playing on private servers. Otavia, are you still, are, are you still following? Did I lose you yet? Yes, sir, coach. Okay, good. So here's what happens. In 2017, I start streaming. Okay, this is the whole history. In 2017, I start streaming. This is after the 2016 shutdown of a private server called Nostalrius. Nostalrius was a progressive, like a patch progressive private server hosted in like Russia or something that went through the original like 11 patches of vanilla WoW from 2004 to 2006, January 16th, 2006, 2007, January 16th, 2007. When did Burning Crusade come out? I still got it. Okay, I'm a, I'm a vault of knowledge. Okay, so when you go here, you can tell that's been spending time with Thor drawing and paint. Dude, look, look up my old videos. Half my streams were in paint years ago. If you look at my old videos, S Fan Daily Dose. I, I, I just, I think nobody is really talking about this because I, I think people are Dude, concerned these, these about, old like, videos. Oh, how do you? It's just, they were all, like literally, He's dude, my not. old streams, I like, I just had paint open constantly. It's so funny. It's so funny because like, I, I feel, I feel, oh, this is such a good video. This was my most disliked daily dose of classic video. And like Kungan tweeted this video out and Kungan was like, S fan is a thousand percent right on this thing. And, and now like a lot of the, like, it's funny because people look back at it months later and they're like, holy shit. S fan lives in a time loop. I really do, man. I really do. Anyway, sorry. Let me go back. Let me go back. I got derailed. At the end of 2017, in, in, uh, at BlizzCon 2017, at BlizzCon 2017, Blizzard says, <laughs> at BlizzCon 2107, Blizzard says, hey, we're gonna make Classic WoW. We're just starting on it. It's gonna take a minute, but we're gonna make Classic WoW. We're gonna bring it back. Didn't they change all that stuff? They changed a lot of it, but not, but not all of it. So in 20, and this is after in previous years saying things like you think you want vanilla, but you don't, whatever. So people had like a lot of contention towards Activision Blizzard at the time. So in 2019, August, Classic comes out. During this time, this is whenever I started streaming. Basically, whenever this was announced, my stream was like stocks up, like giga. And then uh, I kind of, you know, we started the Classic cast and I, I kind of became like, this was the WoW Classic waiting room. Literally my title on my stream for every single day, I was doing IRL, Variety, whatever, it was something, something, the WoW Classic waiting room, every day. And that's what it was, right? Uh, so this kind of became like a big, big Classic WoW community, people waiting for Classic, all that stuff. And then this, in August 2019, August 26th, 2019, Classic finally came out. Finally get Classic, and it goes, you get Burning Crusade, which is the next expansion, all this stuff, whatever. 
classic eventually kind of dies down, right? People love classic, right? But like the hype on Twitch kind of dies down. And to be honest with you, you know what's really funny? When classic came out, it kind of like peaked at the launch and then it died down on Twitch, but it was still strong on YouTube because now all the people that were watching streams waiting for classic were playing the game and then they would watch YouTube videos about it. So, uh, which kind of put me in a rough spot, right? Uh, but that's that's neither here nor there. Eventually, I kind of go back to the variety, the IRL, the sports. This is in 2020 is kind of whenever I started integrating sports back in because before 2017, in 2016, 15, whatever, I was working in football and I wasn't even playing WoW anymore, right? This, this is during the time that I'd quit. I played League, I played League of Legends, and I played football. And that's like pretty much all I did for like a few years. Uh, and then during football, I said play football. I played, worked, whatever. I just, it was involved in football, right? Uh, Cause I didn't, I didn't like play for very long cause I got hurt, right? Fast forward again to two years ago, 2022. Classic WoW hardcore starts being a thing. What is hardcore? It's hardcore, not in the old sense of the word where you were like a really big time player. It's uh, uh, hardcore in the sense of if you die, you delete your character, something more akin to what you have in like a Path of Exile or a Diablo or an ARPG. So classic WoW hardcore ends up being something and you die, yeah, if you die in game, you die in real life. And that's what classic hardcore is. Classic hardcore popped off on Twitch. I was actually going to start playing it but two years ago, right whenever I started losing weight, I took two weeks off of my stream because I hurt my neck really bad uh, and I couldn't even sit in my chair. Yeah, I couldn't sit in my chair for very long, like more than like maybe maybe an hour. At first, I, like, I legit couldn't even stand up. I, I was like laying down. Yeah, it was bad. So I took two weeks off of my stream. During that time, unfortunately, is whenever Classic WoW Hardcore popped off. And it sucks because I was actually going to play it and then I, and then I kind of missed out, right? Doesn't really matter, right? Move on. It's funny, every time I tell like a story or like a history lesson, I give like a little personal anecdote of like what, where I was at the time. But I do that because it helps me kind of keep track of the timelines. Classic WoW Hardcore continues to build, continues to build, continues to snowball. You end up having the Blizzard. You end up having Blizzard come in and support it and say, you know what, we're gonna make official hardcore servers. And now there, there have been some issues with that or whatever, but they decided to make official hardcore servers. And then last year, uh, about a year ago, uh, we did a run of OnlyFangs, which is Soda Poppins Guild. Soda, Soda wanted to do like a content hardcore guild with a bunch of streamers. Uh, now, I ran a guild called Crusade, uh, which was actually a, a good guild that was run by a streamer. And there's not a whole lot of those, uh, or really any of those. No, that's not true because there was people that like, started streaming later and they ran good guilds. But the reason why that worked is because I had like, so whenever I started the guild, it was basically like me and then a couple other people and then those people kind of fell off. So it was like just me for like almost six months. And then I had emergent leaders that showed up, right? And I, I can name all of them, but like, you know, you had like Clovers, you had, I can, I can name all of them, right? But Clovers basically became my co-GM, that's Silly Ann. She basically became my co-GM and uh, she, like if I didn't have like all these guys like Tech, Three of Spades, I mean, it, 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 there's, there's so many, right? There's like, there's a bunch of guys that kind of showed up and, and really became like that guy uh, or, or those guys. And it's like, okay, like we can, we can do this thing. And uh, that's really what carried it, right? Do Dr. Atkins, yeah, so Dr. A yeah, Dr. Atkins from GDRP, yeah. Uh, but there's like so many people and, and even over time, right? More people like Firehead and, and I mean Firehead really helped from the beginning too, right? Fire, like because I had like my mods, right? We're like Firehead and Silly Ann, but like Ping, Ping eventually over time, Ted over time, you had Intrepid, you had a bunch of people over time. Yeah, you had a bunch of people over time that kind of like really stepped up. Uh, Abernathy, of course, Abernathy was like a raid leader in, in, in my raid because I wanted to have like, I wanted to have me be the guy no, no, sorry, sorry. I was kind of being the guy that I ran loot council in every raid. I ran, and we had six raids going at the same time. And like, my, I was like, I was just typing during my raid streams. It was super boring. So I was like, okay, I need to have somebody else be the guy that like raid leads. And then I can like step in and I just like, just, just commentary, right? So Aber stepped up as raid leader in our raid group. And then, uh, yeah, that's kind of how we did it. I've always kind of liked it. Like doing that way. I remember you meeting them at BlizzCon. Yeah, there's a video of me meeting them at BlizzCon. That was super special, man. I, I, I that, that whole crew. I used to run this other guild, and Soda is running OnlyFangs, which is not Crusade. Crusade is my guild, but OnlyFangs is like a—it's gonna be like a fun, like streamer content guild for hardcore. If I run a guild, it'll be Crusade, which is like a different type of guild. It's not necessarily a streamer guild. Like, will there be streamers in it? Yes, but it's not like a streamer guild. It's just a guild run by a streamer that does whatever S Fan says because they love me, or else. Oh yeah, that's another thing. Yeah, if you're in Crusade, you have to love me. If you don't, then you're not allowed in Crusade. 
Thank you. I'm going to the bathroom. I'll be right back. So yeah, that's kind of the whole story. Otavio, thank you for the tier one. Appreciate it, dude.